are joined by Monica Puig, who has qualified here at New Haven, playing some of the best tennis of her life, cracked the top 50 this summer. Thanks for talking to us today. Uh, tell me, uh, first of all, what is it like to qualify in a tournament where you've already beaten the top seed this summer? Oh, I mean, it's just, it's amazing, you know, it's its tough to get through qualifying and uh, have to endure some really tough opponents um, these past few days, but I'm really happy to get through. Now, with your match against Caroline Garcia uh, this afternoon, um, you punished her, finished her off with uh, several aces. Um, did you feel like you, you knew you had it in the bag after that last break? Well, not really, you know, you always have to expect that she's going to come back. I mean, she had... You know, she she got me in that in that last uh, service game before I I served for the match, and uh, you know she she broke my serve, but I had to just stay really positive and and try and break back. But that last service game, it was it was extremely solid, and I was very happy with that. Now tell me about your tremendous love uh, for your homeland and why you chose to play tennis under the Puerto Rican flag rather than the U.S. flag. I mean, I love Puerto Rico. Everything about it is so beautiful. Um, you know, it, just for me, it's the support is great that I get from all the fans over there. You know, it's it's amazing when I go back to Puerto Rico, the the amount of love and attention that I get, and it's it's very special for me. So I really love representing them. Now you clearly had some Puerto Rican fans in the stands today. <laughs> you expect the same uh, in Flushing Meadows next week? I expect probably a little bit more. I've heard several uh, of my family members are going, and uh, you know, a lot more people. And I know that. There are a lot of Puerto Ricans in New York, so I'm just, I'm really looking forward to that. Is it a little strange that some people don't know that you live in United States territory? They don't associate you necessarily with USTA tennis? I mean, we're a USTA section, we're in the Caribbean section, but you know, I think Puerto Rico, since it's its own country, everybody always thinks that it's just Puerto Rico, but um, no, I mean, I'm part of the USTA section, so I mean, I'm, I'm just really happy representing Puerto Rico right now. So. Definitely, and career goals or goals for the end of the year, you've, you've done so well, um, what do you have in mind? Well, you know, I'm just going to take one match at a time this the rest of the year. You know, it's it's the shortest part of the season now. It's obviously the toughest one because it's almost ending. But um, I'm just going to take one match at a time, one tournament at a time, and just uh, focus on that. But obviously my career goal is to win a bunch of Grand Slams and to be number one. So, um, you know, everything that will do, all the work and everything is for that. Monica Puig, good luck here at the New Haven Open and at the United States Open. Thank, Thank you, you very much.